Good morning, YouTubers. What a great day. It's here at last summer. Right, as you know, I hope you do, Jean Lewis, dog wheelchairs, all about dog wheelchairs, saving dogs. Today, I'm gonna show you some awesome stuff, some great equipment. By the way, look at this then. We've upgraded our equipment, getting very techy here. I've got my little transmitter there and I've got a wireless mic. It done half helps so they're walking around with a wire hanging off you and holding that. I've got two hands now. Let's get into it. So, here's Luna, there's Skylar, the star from Thailand. Uh, double amputee, you've seen her before, hopefully. I'm going to show you some great equipment today. This is, we call it the mountain truck. Um, you'll see on the front. Yeah, there's a goat going up the mountain. It's an all-terrain, all-purpose truck. Easy to open, put it in the boot of your car, and down it comes, pop it down, there you go. Look how easy that is. Right, this, I, I can sit in here, I'm 10 stone. Skylar, who's here, absolutely loves it. Look at her. She wants to come in it. She's done it on cue. Look at that. You want to go in, Bab? OK, I'm going to pop her in. Yeah, pop her in there. There you go. Good girl. Oh, she loves this. Look at her. You love it, don't you, Bab? Eh? Yes. So, we do a lot of uh, quite long trips. And obviously, on a wheelchair, that you know, she's going to get a bit tired. So... We take this with us. Um, we've been halfway up Snowden with his truck. Now, just a little story. I've had a message from a lady. I hope you're watching. If you are, I'm waving at you. She was asking us about this truck. Um, I've got a German Shepherd. So, that's fine. This truck can take, I'll just bob something. I'll just take her to the side so she can't roll off. There you go. Um, this truck, you can get large, extra large, all depending on how big your dog is. This is great for Skylar, no problem. Uh, as you can see, it's spacious. We stick uh, a little bit of memory foam in the, in the bottom of it, make it a bit more comfortable. And some vet bedding on the top uh, keeps it nice and warm, you know, and comfortable. So you saw me put it up. The wheels rotate, they're heavy duty wheels. This comes out like that, and up, and off you go. Look at that, how easy is that? You love it, don't you, Bab? Oh, yeah. Anyway, to the lady who asked about this truck, um, I'll just tell you that uh, you just saw me unfold it. At the end of this, when I get Skylar out, I will show you underneath. She was worried that she'd put a dog in um, this German Shepherd and it was going to sag in the middle. Well, it doesn't, which I will show you. There's all bars underneath, like a roll bar. So, no, it doesn't sag at all. You just want some nice, comfortable bedding rolled up with you. Roll it into there. That's that. If, you, if you're going on a long distance or camping, you're taking your dog with you, I strongly suggest that you get one of these. You can also use it to bob some of your equipment on. You can hang it on the front, on the back. There's some little pockets here, uh, which you can see, I'll turn it round. Great little pockets for bobbing stuff in and uh, any equipment you got that can hang on it or in it. If you go shopping on your camping trip, pop your shopping in with your dog. It's got multi-uses, fantastic thing. Uh, they're a great, um, they're not that expensive. I'll let you look for yourself on Google or eBay and uh, you'll find out. But they're, they're quite good price. So that is a must. We find it a must. So that pops over there like that. And then she's nice and comfortable in there, isn't ya? Look at her face, loves it. Do you know, we can't even get her out of it. We have to fold it up and hide it. 
She'd lie in here all the time, wouldn't ya? Wouldn't ya? You yeah, good girl. Right, I'll just get on to the next one. You've seen all these before. But I just want to show you this as well. If you've got a large dog, if you've got a large dog, uh, as you'll know, if you have to pop them in wheelchairs, they can get quite heavy. So if you find that you're getting a bit of backache, what I do, I pop a nice belt on. It supports your back and you don't have to worry about going off your feet. You don't want to go off your feet because uh, well, who's going to look after your dog? So I'll stick that on. There you go. See? Supports your back when you're bending. Always bend your knees, don't forget that. So bend your knees like a jack. Down you go. Get that off me. Okay. I hope you're concentrating on this, you know. Put that down. Here, we've got a cool mat. Because the warm weather's coming, we hope. Here's your cool mat for your dog. Always take that with you on your trips. Because if it gets very hot, don't forget the water. They want a cool mat to sit on. Yeah. Here we've got uh, Skylar's raised bed off the floor. Um, which is great if you're going camping again or climbing, whatever you're doing. Take one of them, keep them off the floor, keep the damp off the dog. They don't want to get damp. Arthritis. No. So, let's have a look around. Just follow me around. I'm on the Mediterranean Garden. So, just want to go over this with you. Now, this is the quad. Right, we got this, as you'll probably know if you've already tuned in before, we got this for Chica because he eventually ended up on a quad. It was great, but I've got to tell you, this is just my opinion, you don't have to do this. As you know, we've got the walking wheels, um, Skylar's walking wheels. Now, this, it's very sturdy and it did the job, it's great. But if we could go back again, right at the beginning, we would have stuck with the walking wheels because the walking wheels, which is this one, let's bring that over. The walking wheels, if you ever do come to the time when you need a quad for your dog, they do the attachments for the front. So we would have stayed with this and then just attached the, the front wheels to it and then we'd have had a quad. Well, we didn't think about that at the time, but uh, just giving you the benefit of what we didn't do so that it might help you to think about what wheelchair you're going to buy. Um, this is great. The walking wheels is just fantastic an astonishing piece of equipment. So you can add to it, it's got lots of accessories. Uh, while I've got it in my hand, I think, as I say, if you tuned in before, you'll know about this. This contraption that's sitting on it, obviously it's covered in Skylar's hair, because uh, they molt, don't they, this time of the year. That is when she came to us, there was just two rings for a dog's legs, obviously. Well, she's a double amputee. So she, she was just sitting on the rings. We, we put a like a, a, a blanket on it, you know, to make it a bit more comfortable, but it wasn't really suitable. So one night I had a light bulb moment and I thought, hang on, why on earth doesn't she have something a lot longer? So out of the cupboard come an old wetsuit. I chopped the arms off, chopped the legs off, and then I slid it over this. I thought she was trying to get out then. It's all right, she's still in there. Slid it over the walking wheels. Obviously I had to take the legs off. Just a little slit, put it back on. And I made what I call a double amputee hammock. That's my little thing, yeah. So 
might look a bit odd because I haven't actually, I just put it on there for her. But um, I'm thinking about actually making a prototype because there must be quite a few dogs out there, double amputees, who were uncomfortably bobbing around on those two rings. And believe me, they can't be that comfortable because there's a big lycra in the middle that keeps the two rings together. Well, they're sitting on that. So anybody watching, if you've got a double amputee dog, you can use this, it's called neoprene, or you can buy the material and uh, design it to whatever you want. But you know, it does the job. Since we put that on, she has never and cannot come out of there. Um, you could also add, which I think we're going to as well, because when she's going along and she wants to have a sniff at the grass, she comes up and her bum comes up to there. We're going to add a couple of straps, crisscross across here, uh, only lightweight, just to make sure that that doesn't happen. But she cannot come out of this. So there's an idea for you. Um, always having little ideas how to make little improvements to your own equipment. So um, as far as I'm aware, these aren't made anywhere yet. Might be wrong, but check it out. So that's simple. Cost you about, what, two pound? There you go, and your dog's safe. Uh, pop that down a minute. What else have we got? Ah, right. Skylar's harness. Now, they come with a harness, but you can buy extras, as I said. Now this one, this one, This one, we bought this one extra. They don't come like this. Normally, they come they're about that wide. And they're okay, they're suitable. We just wanted something more comfortable for Skylar. So you can purchase the wider one. This, fantastic. So as you can see, pop it over her neck, pop it underneath. And there you go, and then she just clips up, doesn't she? They just clip into the walking wheels. So this is already on your dog. Pop it on her when you're gonna go out. She's already in. You pop that on there like that. Clip. Yeah. She's already in the harness, obviously. Then, these are so comfortable. Again, they're made of neoprene. It's um, strong, soft, and very, very comfortable. So there you go, there she is. As you can see from that, if you look at that, how close that is to what we've made her, the double amputee hammock, I call it. There's no gaps in between. So she sits in there. We do put a vet bed on that as well. So there's no gap, she cannot possibly come out of this. I think it's great for comfort and safety. So as I say, I'm always trying to think of things to improve um, her equipment for her. Right, so what else have we got here? Okay, oh, that is the body belt. That comes with the walking wheels. Well, it, this not this one. The one that comes with it is a little bit slimmer than this. So, um, whew. I'll just have a drink of water. Yeah, I'm talking away here and it's great, but uh, <coughs> you get a bit of a dry throat. So bear with me, don't go away. That's better. Oh, lovely. Yeah. This is the pamphlet that comes with the walking wheels. Miracles in motion. Walking pets, and that's what it is. 
Miracles in motion. So when you buy one, it'll tell you everything you need to know. Here you are. They do a large, extra large. Look at that. Takes all sizes of dogs from tiny chihuahuas up to, well, they'll do any anything. They'll get any dog in it. Unless, of course, it's a huge Irish wolfhound. Uh, I think you'd have to get on the phone to them about that. But, uh, yeah, so you get all that and it will tell you everything you need to know. Next. Yes. This, you can buy extra. That's a wider belly belt, this one. And I'll need to tell you something. When you get this, yeah, you'll see, this is what we found anyway. That was hole there, like that. Well, we got a boy dog and we found that this was sliding backwards. Well, of course, his little dinky, it went, it slid over his dinky and it was a bit uncomfortable. So what we did, again, adapt your own accessories, adapt your own wheelchair. We just, we just cut it out. So we cut that out around him and that was fine. And it doesn't, it doesn't uh, mess at all with the structure. You can cut it and it doesn't fray. So that's just a little tip, you know, if you need to. So that's that, the walking wheels one. What else? Ah, right. In a minute, I'm going to show you the, the bottom of this. I'm going to stand in it so you can see how strong it is. I'll have to get Skylar out. I can't get in there with her in there, obviously. I'll just quickly show you this. That's the Hort wheelchair. Um, we, we lent this out to someone and the front harness never came back. But uh, you can get the idea. These are a soft one. Um, it's just come off now. <laughs> That's the soft rings, yeah. Um, and what we, uh, what we did, we lent it to somebody. They never sent this back, as I just said. But unfortunately, because we wanted to give this one to someone who hadn't got a wheelchair and couldn't afford one, but we can't now, because the front's gone. So, uh, it's sort of there. You can purchase the front, which they may do if they have this one, but uh, quite expensive. I mean, this one was £350, believe it or not. It looks great, but, uh, you know, we'll stick with the walking wheels. Anyway, I'm gobbling on a bit. I might have another drink of water in a minute. Throat is so dry. Oh, anyway. I want to tell you a story. A lady uh, we got in touch with, she's got um, a little Facebook group called Wendy with her little dog, who's amazing, called Baggins. If you go on to Facebook, please put in Baggins and have a look at his story. It's, it's, it's just great. It's fantastic. Baggins is an, uh, as even filia and I've yet to speak to her. If you're watching Wendy, I'm trying to get to call you, and every time I'm gonna call you, something happens. I either come in too late and I don't wanna disturb you, but as you know, uh, as you've got a special needs dog, you know that time is of the essence. You just can't seem to get it. There's always something to do. So I'll just tell you quickly about Baggins. Um, she's very nicely which is lovely of her, sent us a, more or less a full story of Baggins before, during and after, and how he is now. And you must see it, because it's so funny. I love looking at it. Uh, Baggins is a Spaniel. He wears a little flat cap. That's the bit I like. He looks so sweet. He looks so cute in it. Um, he's an, he has haemophilia and it got that bad that he had a serious bleed into his spinal column. 
and it paralysed him at the hind, his hind legs and his tail. So, I mean, this is just so heartwarming, this story. Wendy researched and with the help of um, really lovely people, she took Baggins to America. Um, they were doing trials. They, they, the, what it, I'm not sure yet what it was that she used, but if you look at this story, I'm quite sure that you'll get all of this information. So off they go to America and he underwent these, um, what it was that they used for him. So it was, um, it was used prior and as well as for children. And they had a trial to use it on our little furry friends. There was only 11 dogs who were admitted to this trial and Baggins, would you believe, was the last one. He was the 11th dog. They treated him, he came back and wonderfully his feeling came back in his right back leg and in his tail. He's in a set of wheels and having the best life, running about, really enjoying himself. This is the aim of what we do too, to tell people out there that your dog doesn't have to go off to the big kennel in the sky. If there's a way, take it. It's up to you at the end of the day. But if there's a way that he can stay with you, and we had a two more years with Chica, and I'm quite sure Wendy would say the same as I'm saying. If there's a route to keep your dog with you, try it. You know, especially if he's your best friend, you know. So go for it. Anything as well that you want to know, please, please just private message me or come on to the comment section. Anything you want to know, I'll help. Yeah, there's no charge. We don't accept donations. All we do is we want, we want to tell people about these amazing wheelchairs so that your pets don't have to die f f when there is something there for them and they can have an extended life, quality life. If it wasn't a quality life, we wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, promote this. We wouldn't. Um, so if you're thinking of buying a wheelchair, check with your vet. Check there's no other serious issues. Check that that's going to be good for your dog. Um, and carry on. So there's, there's so many stories out there have come into us about people who've gone for a wheelchair and are like so absolutely over the moon that they've still got their little pet with them. So. There's not much more for me to say to you today yet, so I'm, I'm going to um, show you what I said at the beginning. I'm going to take Skylar, who's not going to like it, out of her little mountain truck, that's what we call it. Come on, love. She won't like this. Out you come. I've got to show all the YouTubers the bottom of your truck. Come on, darling. Come on, baby. Out you come. There you go. Yeah, she's a star. Right. I'm going to tip it over. I'll bring it over first so you can see. Right, let's get them out of the way. Move these. Okay. Move them. And then... All those over there. Right, here it is. I'll just get it up so you can see. There's the bottom. Really, really strong these are. I love the wheels. The size and the width of the wheels. Fantastic. So, I'm going to stand in it. A minute, if I can get Skylar out of the way. Yeah. 
she wants to get back in. Me and Skylar could get in here. It's that strong. Right, here I go. You ready? Stay there then, because I'm getting in it. There you are. Ten stone in the mountain truck. There you go. You can see me in it, look. I can jump up and down. It is so strong. In a minute, darling, hang on. So, that's all for today. I know, you can come back in in a minute. That's it for today. Don't forget to share and please, please, if you want to know more and we've got a lot more, smash the subscribe button. Smash it. Thanks for viewing. I'll see you soon. Bye.